So this is going to be touring houses from around the world. So this is an Andean house. As you can see, there's a really nice interior. Um, but it's small. Um, because when you live out in the mountains, why do you need a big house? Answer, you don't. Um, and there's nothing up here, actually. I thought there was something up there, but I was misremembering. This is another, this is the same house, but with a different roof style. This is like a tropical house. Like sort of a tropical South America house. It's on stilts, so when the floodwaters come in, it doesn't go underwater. So then we have this, like, this is based off of, like, Patagonian architecture. Um, I actually based it off of an image I saw on Safari. And this is another tropical house. Okay, moving on. This is an igloo, which is, like, a... It's in the Arctic of North America, so Alaska and Canada. In fact, sometimes they have entire hotels made out of ice, which I think is really cool, and there's some really nice flags and stuff in there. This is like a sort of, like, um, Canadian-slash-American house that you'd see in, like, the taiga regions of Alaska and Canada. So, like, not quite the Arctic, but still cold. Um, and then it also has a basement. Uh, with a bunch of stuff in the chests. Uh, okay, why is there a lag spike there? Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's not gonna open. Okay, um, the kitchen. Okay, upstairs, bedroom. Um, and another bedroom. And a bathroom. And up, there's an attic as well, um, with a bunch of random stuff and beds in it. Okay, uh, okay. Oh my god. I, oh my god. Dude, okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this was supposed to be, like, a woodland house, but I failed miserably. This is like a subtropical house, so like the subtropical regions of the U.S. and Canada. Actually, there's no subtropical regions of Canada. Um, even if the Köppen climate classification might say otherwise, they're not actually subtropical. They just have hot summers. This is a bathroom. Um, this is like a teepee, so like plains in the prairies. Um... This is, like, a desert house, so, like, the southwest of the United States. Um, bedroom, whatever. And then upstairs, there's another bedroom and a bathroom. Um, yeah. Um, next. This is, like, a Ukrainian house. So, um... Yeah, it's like a Mazinka clay, I think it's called. And I didn't actually do much for the upstairs, but that's okay. This is like a Northern European house, so like Russia and Scandinavia. Although in Russia, usually they're just one shape, so like a singular box instead of like multiple different boxes. Yeah, um, bedroom, bedroom, and bathroom, and then back out. This is actually, like, I don't even know what it was. It was originally supposed to be, like, a Central European house, but I don't think it turned out very well. And upstairs, there's bedrooms and bathrooms and whatnot.
This is like a Greek house or a Mediterranean house because there's lots of greenery, rot there's roof decks and patios and three floors. Um, I honestly love small towns in the Mediterranean because they have like a bunch of terraces and there's like little spots to sit on the roof and there's a lot of greenery hidden and nestled away and there's also like tight, narrow, steep streets. That's what I love about it. It's a pool. And this is a bathroom. Uh, then this is like a townhouse. I don't have time to go through all of them. Uh, this is a Middle Eastern house. I'm not going through all that. Um, this is like a South Asian or Nepalese house. This is actually like an East Asian house. This is like a Turkic or Mongolian house. Like, I just love this yurt design so much. I cannot tell you how much I love this design. Um, yeah, I just love the design with the stained terracotta. That's a Southeast Asian house. This is actually a West African house, which is based off of Igbo architecture. Um, this is like a South African house based off of something in Lesotho. This is like a Central African house. This is actually an Australian house, like a suburban house. I put these flags here because they're nice, not because they're any actual country. They're not. And I really like how I put the backwards barrels in this. And just look at the inside. It's so nice. Um, here we have this bedroom with like a double bed, bunk bed. So like a kid's bedroom and study area. This is like a master bedroom, even though it doesn't have a bathroom attached. And this is the bathroom. I, again, I just really like how those backwards facing barrels look like an actual um drawer okay this is like a polynesian house